This video is to catch a cheater and to prevent cheating and some stories about cheating. And if you're a cheater and you're watching this, um, it's how we're gonna catch you riding dirty. I don't know if you ever caught a cheater. If you did, first you're disappointed, why would they cheat on my exam? Second, you know what it feels like? You know what it feels like? It feels like fishing. What am I talking about? Just remember, the first time that you went fishing, that feeling you got when you just I got you. Yeah, seriously, it feels that way. And catching a cheater is a sport. I'm coming around to check desk, so make sure I can see it. Check desk. Go on, do it. Walk around your classroom right now. You're gonna find that the desks are written on and they might have stuff on them. And when you're checking desks, go ahead and move things around. What am I talking about? You see that calculator? Move it to the side this one time and Pomona? I moved the calculator and bam! All the formulas were written right under it. If your calculator has a sleeve, remove the sleeve and put the sleeve away. That was the first Cheater I ever caught. You have to wear I was a grad shoes. student. I was proctoring a test no at clue. what? No I was walking down a, you and then girl just. You? It was like smell it coming. Because she had stuff written on the inside of her lid. If you have an eraser with a box, remove the box and put the box away. No boxes on calculators. Are you kidding me? They just slide right off. Woo. And they hide stuff under them. And what should you do? You should check. You should check the boxes. Why? Because it's particularly common to write formulas and stuff on the tip and then transfer it to your test and erase it. <laughs> Not from the test, from the eraser. Take a second, turn your cell phones off. That's all the way off. Not airplane mode. It keeps them from going. It keeps your hands out of your pockets. Absolutely no cell phones. If I catch you with a cell phone, we can go to academic affairs together. So if it lives in a loose pocket, or if it lives in a back pocket, just go ahead and throw it in a bag. Oh, oh, oh. During the test, I will be coming around to check your calculator to make sure you didn't write in between the buttons. So you can go ahead and get rid of that now. Check calculators. Oh my god. When you're walking around the room, check calculators. In fact, make it a practice. Why? Because they do write stuff on their freaking calculator. Why? Especially the dark calculators. If you take them, you, uh, you can't really see it unless you like twist it. And then you see it. It's hard for you to see. That's why they put it there. It's really easy to wipe off. So, yeah, they write stuff on their calculator, so check them. I don't have an extra calculator. I don't have enough for everybody who doesn't have one. If you need one during the test, raise your hand or come give it to you. You can use it and I'll take it right back. Absolutely no sharing of calculators. Here, I passed you the answer. If you're a teacher, you know what? Bring an extra calculator or two. When you give it to them, clear the memory. There's the answer from that other kid. Zip your backpacks up. That's all the zippers, all the snaps, all the straps, and the Velcro if you're into that. Zip your backpacks up. Why? So that you can't get into them easily, and why else? Yeah, if you reach, I want to hear it. It's time to clear that short term memory. <clears throat> Who's got a job? These jokes need to be clean and unoffensive to anybody, especially blondes. No knock-knock jokes, no little Johnny jokes, no Pepito jokes, no chicken cross the road jokes, no little Sally jokes. And for today, no Halloween jokes. Oh, we got a joke. How do dinosaurs pay their bills? He wants to know, how do dinosaurs pay their bills? With Tyrannosaurus checks. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus checks. Uh, that works. I don't need to remind you. Keep your eyes on your own. Keep your test 
on your desk. No stretchies. Uh. Everybody stay fit. No leanies. Ooh. And if you have a question, raise your hand. I'll come to you. No need to look. It'll be passed on the way up. When you get it, you can take it. When you're done, you can go. And good luck. I'll start over here. I started over here last time.